Hello, it's Mr Omara here and what I'm working out, going through the workings out anyway, is what happens, what are the outcomes if you throw two four-sided dice. So let's say I throw the first one and it's a one, and the second one and it's a one. So I could also have a two, I could have a three, or I could have a four. So uh, they're all ones, and that's fine. I could throw a two first and have four possible outcomes. I could throw a three first and have four possible outcomes, and I could throw a four first and all those outcomes are the same so what I'm going to do is just copy them across. So for whatever my first one is, these are independent events, whatever I throw first I could have any of those second. So the sum is what they add up to. So sum of, and I just want those two figures there, close it off, so two, no surprises, I throw a one and a one I've got a two. All the way down to if I throw a four and a four I've got an eight. So what I want to know over here is how often am I getting each of those results. So, so I'm going to use count if brackets. So count if the range, so that's what I'm looking at, all those possible results, one in 16 chance, each of them, comma, if how often is it a two? And obviously it's a two once, and that's no great surprise. So there we go. There are my results in terms of how often they happen. So I got 16 possible things that could happen. I know it says 17, but I used one for the heading. So this one has a 1 in 16 chance. This one has a 2 in 16 chance, which is 1 in 8, and so forth. But what I'd like to know is also what the percentages are. So what I'm going to do is say this equals this number here times... Now, I think I said, that's right, I said it was 1 in 16. 1 divided by 16 times 100. And I just drag that down. So there you go. My chance of getting a 5 is, in fact, 25%. So a quarter of the time I'm going to get a 5, which is actually more than I would have expected. And a 3 and a... Actually, what am I looking for here? Oh, yeah, sorry. So this, in fact, this column, I'm just going to hide my frequency... Just I'm going to hide that now. So I've got this sitting here. So my chance of getting a 2 is that. My times of getting a 5 is 25%. So I know all of these and I could work them out as fractions as well. So I hope that's similar to what you got.